morning everybody, I don't know what's going on with my camera, evidently it reset itself, but it's about 7 o'clock in the morning, wanted to give you a quick update of what's going on with the farm. As you see, here's our big open sand field. Our apple tree is coming back to life. New little bud coming down the stalk. He's not bud. Cow poop and sand. And it's kind of doing okay, but I think it needs more oxygen in its roots, anyways. Over here is our beautiful water pit that we've dug. It will hopefully one day be a water cistern for us. And it will lead, this ditch swell will feed it, and so will that. You can't really tell, but there's a beginning of a swell there that the dog is walking in. It goes around and matches up with that one up there. But we've just started this. It all needs to be deeper and bigger and whatnot, but thought we'd give you a little show. Here's one of my favorite things so far. We have beans, lots and lots of beans sprouting up on the side of this hill. And you follow this around, and we'll take you over to what initially was going to be our house site. Here's some more beans. What initially was going to be our house site has for logical reasons, we've decided that, seeing as we have the trailer now, and we're not, you know, without a home, that instead of working on this home, we would convert this over to a large greenhouse, an underground kind of greenhouse. So we're going to start that project here pretty quick. was pretty much our update that we wanted to give you. You can see all the trees are in bloom and have mesquite pods hanging from them. We're going to make some flower here. This is our property. And we own a little bit that direction, about another acre, and about 10 acres that direction. for Well, our greenhouse has become our water collection area. I didn't know what it looked like. This is crazy. And it's a water wall. We couldn't ask for more water. If this had been secured with, you know, pond liner or concrete we would have completely gathered enough water probably to last us the year between this one and the other one which is already full and now is because it's full back flowing across the land 
to into here. And it's still raining. Oh shit. What? I'm shaking right now because my feet are flipping over. Oh, I want to grab that and start slowing in. But I'm flat. Oh, can we go over there and bring that one down? Nah. This is our just let nature be for now and we will learn yeah, are fun. Yeah. we will learn what we can from this rain experience and dig holes in other places Wait, um, we are certainly going to continue this I, I think we may cancel everything flows the opposite direction we thought it flew on the land we thought water flew that way but it all naturally rolls this way. So, this is definitely gonna be the water collection area. No, it has no, we have no choice. It's either yeah, fight nature or go with it. So we're gonna go with it. Well, you can see how thick this ground is right now. You just step and it just slides. Yeah, yeah here's the one of the flows down into it, the natural flow, not the waterfall, which is so kind of neat. We made a, look, I told everyone I was gonna come out to the desert and build waterfalls. That is not what I meant. That is not what I meant at all. Is it, Gladdy? Oh, no, no. No, we did not mean that we were gonna come out here and build waterfalls that way. But, our helper digging. Yeah, this was not in, intentional, this river here. But, might as well. Now, that river was intentional. Yes, and it did pretty good at the beginning of the run. The it collected water. All rolled right off of our area out there. Saved our house. Nothing got too flooded because it all flowed right into this creek that we built. But once it filled up the pit over there, it started the backflow. And as you can see, if you look at the water, you can see it's kind of flowing this way with the wind and creeping back this way. Eventually, it will hit this mound and wash right over into where we were going to build the greenhouse. So now that's going to be probably the water collection. And that will be... Uh, second water collection because we designed everything to flow all the little runs get deeper as they go that way this one gets deeper as it goes that way so it's running all that water it'll run right water and no matter what we now we have to I don't know we'll figure it out as we go <laughs> it's called and as you can see where I'm standing now is going to be our main cropland Back here, on the, it's all flooding off of my cropland. It's now drying. Well, not dry, but it's now no longer up to my ankle like it was an hour ago, and flooding that direction. So, where I have been building all my hills on that side to stop the water from flowing that way, I had needed to be stopping the water from flowing this way. So the last hill I was going to build to securely build this round area, I was building a hill here, we're on the second one now. This little ditch is the beginning of it. This was going to be our second ditch and hill and the dirt was going to be mounted up that direction. And you can see it actually did pretty good where it's actually deep. It's got a nice little collection already. And all of that flowed down this way.
slowed down, 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 down. But then we were continuing it. We didn't get to finish it. And in the rain, I came over here and dug all this one out. Because it was supposed to come down and build up here. Kind of where I'm standing eventually should flood and come underwater. If I build up this mound here with the natural hills on all sides, that flood would then wash back into the garden. But you can see this one's nice and deep. I mean, that's 